Hey, everybody. So I just want to talk about podcasting real quick. It's a hobby that I picked up over the last couple of months. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really in enjoying all of the equipment that goes along with it, learning, learning about the process. I watch a ton of videos and I'm just really, really getting into it. Um, so a lot of people have been, been asking me, Chris, how do you make a podcast? And the typical thing is a lot of people grab a mic, they'll grab a camera, they'll go to Zoom and they'll start podcasting, inviting guests in. Exactly how I started. If you watch some of my first uh, videos that I was doing, interview, you probably remember seven minutes. I was doing that with Zoom, a microphone, and a basic webcam. Yes, great way to get started. But over time, if you've watched some of the last episodes, the last three or four, the, the quality of the video is starting to improve. The quality of the sound is starting to improve. I'm starting to improve. And I just wanted to kind of share some of that with you because I just got a text from a lady the other day. Chris, I want to make a podcast. What do I do? And it's just so much to talk about. So I figure I'd make a video and I'd, I'd try to help you out. Uh, I'm just going to share with you some of the equipment that I use, um, some behind the scenes techniques that I use to produce the podcast. And uh, I'm going to show you some videos that you'll see on uh, various social media platforms, how I make the shorts and how I make the reels. So let's first take a quick tour um, of my studio. And I did a quick video on that. So go ahead and take a look. All right, here we go. So I'm going to tell you about my podcast setup. Some people have inboxed me and asked me questions about, oh, you got a pretty nice setup there, but they don't know the half of it because they're not actually in here. So let's start with some, some equipment. First of all, this is a Rode pod mic. You can see the label on the mat on the back. Pod mic. It's really good for podcasting. You don't even need a filter on that puppy on the front or any kind of screen protector. It doesn't pick up like slaps of your, your tongue or all kinds of extra sounds that you might make when you're speaking. Right here is a Rode boom arm. The thing I like about this arm over this arm, this is my original arm over here with, that I used when I was going a little cheap, but arms tend to move. See how quiet that is? There's no sound. So if I'm moving it during a podcast or anything like that, um, you won't even hear it. It's just so quiet. Whereas this one here, has springs and you can you can actually hear it especially it gets picked up on a microphone all right so the road uh boom arm and the road pod mic is what i have you want to order those on amazon um here's the box right here okay all right next thing i have is a of course i use a macbook pro um, for all of my work and edits and things like that on the macbook pro you'll see me and you'll see Ecamm Live. That is a software that I use to actually do all of my podcast preparation, my scenes, and um, I record from it directly. And I use that, but I also have a second screen above, which is behind the teleprompter, which I'll tell you about in a second. And um, when I move the teleprompter, I can slide things up there and create, use Canva and do all the graphics that you see and add music and sound effects and all that kind of stuff. All right, so speaking of an interface or sound effects, this right here is the Rode X Streamer X. Now, you might say, oh, you sure love Rode stuff. Rode is actually a company that um, they make stuff for radio and podcasts and stuff like that. So they're really good at it. Um, if you look through YouTube, there's other brands, but I happen to like getting a whole Rode ecosystem. But what's great about this, you can plug your camera into it. You can also plug your microphone into it, your headphones, all these color buttons. They have different um, channels and things like that. Sound effects and noises, change of voice, special effects. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff that you can do with these buttons. And as you can see, they change colors. Um, so I really, really like that for uh, my camera wants to turn around. I really like that for doing that. Of course, every good podcaster has to have a set of headphones. So I really like these headphones. They're nice and quiet. They even got right and left in them for you. Um, <laughs> so you don't forget what side to put them on. Of course, I have that on my cell phone holder um, so I can see phone calls coming in. I keep my phone on do not disturb and silent when I'm podcasting, but at least I like to um, be able to check it uh, while I'm doing um, editing and stuff like that. 
All right, so what else do we have? So we, I told you I wanted to talk about the, um, what do you call it, teleprompter. So yeah, I used to use a computer monitor, which is why this was back there, and I would have teleprompter come up, but my eyes just never were where I wanted them on the, um, on the screen or the video. So I got a teleprompter that you can use with an iPad, as you can see, and you notice it's backwards here, but then when I'm sitting down on my camera, I can actually see that. So teleprompter, not a big cost, but if you're gonna get serious about this, definitely something you should do. Okay, what's this right here? This is called the Stream Deck. So notice there's 12 buttons on there. No, I'm sorry, 15 buttons, I can't count. Notice there's 15 buttons on there and that each button can do something different, like change the scene on my screen here. Um, look, I'll, just, I'll give you an example. So this button says countdown. So when I do my live, I can just click this, see that? And then I can click back and I can go back to the main scene. I can also play sounds, I can play video clips. I can do all kinds of great things just with that box. I can do applause, I can do, you know, just all kinds of jingles and things like that. If I have a special commercial or something I wanna play during the podcast, I can just hit the button. So that's called the Stream Deck. If you wanna see the boxes right here, you can get that on Amazon as well. All right, so, sorry to make you dizzy. Why do I have a second microphone? This is, uh, most of my interviews I will do through Ecamm because they have an interview uh, interface. Much better than Zoom, by the way. Let's not use Zoom. But this is high definition, 1080p, 4K, the whole nine. Oh, by the way, what I didn't talk to you guys about was my camera. You know the crazy thing about my camera? My camera's inside of the teleprompter. If you look really closely, you'll see those two lines. That is the teleprompter. That's my 1080p 4K camera behind the teleprompter. So it's staring directly at me. So I just want to point that out. All right. So this is my second um, microphone. Not going to be used much because I'm not going to do a lot of in in studio interviews. But my wife, let's say she wants to do an interview, she can come downstairs. Or if someone says, "Hey, I want to do a live interview at your house," then I would just have to make room, put a chair there. We'll both get captured on the camera and we'll sit side by side. See how that goes. All right, of course you need lighting. This is not the best light. A lot of people are using larger type professional uh, studio lights, but I don't have that kind of room in here. So I have this light that shines directly on my face, but I also have this light here and this light here. And this provides me enough light in the back. This is my DJ practice area here as well. But I also have enough light in back of me and enough light um, on the sides of me. So where I need light is well set up. So what else do I have? I told you to use MacBook Pro. The, oh, by the way, this microphone here, the second mic is a Yeti. It's a blue Yeti. Um, it's awesome. It's USB and um, works well where this microphone is, um, SL, um, what do you call it? I don't know. I can't remember my brain's fried. But anyway, it's this type of connection. And then as soon as I finish this video, I'll remember what I was thinking about. Anyway, so yes, that's a USB. So you can use both. I also have another camera that if I want to change angles during the podcast, or if I have two people in here, I can switch back and forth. All right. For comfort, I have a gaming chair. The thing I like about gaming chairs, of course, I'm not gaming, but it's, it's good for like a lot of movement. It doesn't make a lot of noise. It's very, very quiet. It doesn't squeak. My last chair squeaked a lot. And um, so I decided to get a gaming chair. A backdrop, a good backdrop in a podcast is always great. What's behind you? That's why I have LED lights. No, I'm not 16, but I noticed in a lot of videos I got, it just kind of takes, you know, and here's my mess back here. This is where I keep all my stuff so you can't see it, but you don't see that stuff in the video. But a lot of those are cables and wires and stuff that I'll use, paperwork, but I keep those out of the video um, if you wanted to. So I, you know, I'm a big, you know, nerd when it comes to the West Wing. I love all my books. The reason I have multiple copies of that because I give them out to people. Um, and just something to show my personality. I'm a real estate agent. You know, a couple of awards I got, you know, um, just, uh, you know, things like that. So books are very important to me. I like to read them. And um, Black History Month is here. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of my podcast set, set up. Might look a little bit intimidating, but it's not. Bought a few pieces over time. If you watch some of my earlier podcasts, you'll see that they got better and better and better over time, and they're going to they're gonna continue to improve. 
All right, that's all I got. I just wanted to show you that. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. That was it. All right, so um, that is the tour of the studio there. And I just wanted to go over a few quick things. So the next thing you might wanna know is what softwares do you use? And um, you will need software because you're going to want to edit your um, po your podcasts and um, sometimes like right now I'm just going live off the cuff and I'm not really doing any editing whatever I end up with here that's it so I just wanted to show you that now so software I'm going to show you a quick video on that that way I don't have to I can show you on my screen and um, you'll get an idea of some of the things I use I use CapCut to edit a lot of the videos that I do it's a great program um, and it allows you to edit, cut, clip, all types of uh, videos. And uh, so it's a really, really good software. You can use it on your phone or you can use the desktop software. Um, Opus Clip is how I make my reels and shorts. Um, you can take any one of these videos and what it will do is it will automatically clip them into 30 second uh, videos <clears throat> so that comes into handy those are the ones that you'll see on Facebook reels or the YouTube shorts and LinkedIn and stuff like that of course I use Canva uh, to put in a lot of the graphics that I might use in a video all right what you'll also see is that um, it's good to use different softwares when you're uh, doing podcasts because you want them to be on YouTube as well and um, yeah, so if you want more information on that, just let me know. Yeah, so that's the software I use. And I, I think um, I talked to Ecamm Live software. I use Opus Pro for the clips. And I said 30 seconds, but you can make the clips as long as you want. It's just that shorts on YouTube have to be 60 seconds or less. Reels on Instagram, I think 90 seconds or less, but Reels on Facebook are um, 60 seconds or less. So that allows me to cut and edit so that you get a full concept of what I'm talking about within a 30, 60, or 90 second clip. Last but not least, I want to talk about quality of streaming and quality of video. So a lot of times you may set up um, and you notice that the video may be choppy. I see sometimes people will do uh, Facebook Live or they'll do Instagram Live or anything like that, or they decide to stream. Well, when I when I see it and I see it's choppy or the picture's not clear, I go, uh oh, they're using Wi Fi. So let's look at this quick video on Ethernet. I also highly recommend that you use a direct Ethernet connection to your computer versus using Wi Fi. Uh, wi Fi can get a little choppy, um, whatever the high speed of your internet is, and that's what this is over here. Um, you're going to get a far better connection, especially when streaming or going live. So make sure that you um, go directly into your computer. So there you have it. That's my podcast setup. Just wanted to share that with you. If you have any more questions or you want to learn something about it, I'm actually about to do a full podcast um, lesson plan um, that I will teach people what I've learned. Um, both good and bad, rights, wrongs, do's and don'ts on podcasting. Let me do all the work. Let me do all the research and YouTube video watching because you don't have time. You just want to jump in your studio and just start uh, talking and doing your podcast. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the Chris Wright Happy Hour Podcast setup. And um, good. I'll talk to you guys later. So enjoy. Thanks so much.